Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Gunkel, two-time recipient of the Louisiana Association of Broadcasters Award for Best Weathercast. Welcome back. Well, we got a lot going on today. First of all, NOAA released their 2021 Atlantic hurricane season. They are calling for an average or above average hurricane season. Once again, expected to be very active with 13 to 20 named storms and possibly three to five of those being major hurricanes. That's a category three or above, and that pretty much agrees with all the other forecasts out there for this upcoming season. So be prepared, have a game plan because, well, as you look at the big picture out there, we are now watching not one, but two areas out there. They haven't updated the graphic quite yet, but as you see here, we've got about an 80% chance of development over the next two days. Potentially, we could be looking at subtropical on a by tomorrow in the central Atlantic. Really not going to affect the U.S. at all. It's just going to sit in the central Atlantic. The concern for us, and now the National Hurricane Center is watching a disturbance. You can see that little spin in the Gulf of Mexico, giving it about a 20% chance of development. That's still very low, but we're watching it closely for development development in the coming days. So here's the concern immediately for us and it's again a very high risk for possible flash flooding and as you notice these rain totals out there for a lot of areas we're already at four and a half kind of bringing ourselves closer to that five inch mark. And then you look at our exclusive live Viper radar. We're not done from the rain. We got a little break over the last few hours, but notice more rainfall lifting inland back towards the capital area. All those areas hit so hard this week potentially could see more inches of rain. Right now we're talking about two to four, but locally there could be some higher amounts. And this is the concern. If this line stalls on top of us again, if it parks itself and it continues to transport all that moisture, what we call training across us, well, then we could see those rain totals quickly spike across the region. You can see here lifting up now through Thibodeau into Donaldsonville, back towards Gonzales and along I-10, and then moving back into that same area, that Dutchtown area, the Highland area, over towards Shenandoah, Prairieville, all those areas, Santa again, more heavy rainfall. And here's the concerning part. It extends well into the Gulf of Mexico. You got to remember that radar scans only go so far out. So again, we could see that conveyor belt dragging in all that moisture. And that's why we need to be very alert this evening. The sun is setting. It's going to get dark out there. And what I suggest is stay off the roads this evening. We don't want same issues that we were dealing with the other day. And as you notice, there is a flash flood warning here. My concern is that if these rain totals really start to climb, we could even have a flash flood emergency like we did on Monday. So as you notice, we've got a flash flood watch. They've extended it through tonight and throughout much of tomorrow because of that potential concern. And you see the current stages out here. This could all jump depending on the rain we see tonight. But right now we're looking at minor flooding for a lot of areas as river levels continue to climb across the area. But a lot of areas could even jump to that moderate flooding with that additional rain ahead of us. And here's the concern watching your future track. You can see going into the morning hours still around three o'clock. We still got some showers hovering around the capital area that extends all the way back out into the Gulf of Mexico, even moving into the morning. And again, this is a good example of training. You can see that rain moving over the same location and it's pretty much setting up for that scenario as we speak and potentially even going back into Friday. Well, again, the possibility of more rain until about midday and then after that we should finally start to drought as we approach the upcoming weekend. So the chance for more excessive rainfall across the area. Rainfall rates will continue to be rather high for most two to four. But my concern is that those numbers are going to be pretty much obsolete because again, over the last couple of days, the models have not been good with the precipitation accumulations. So here's the deal. We also have a wind advisory in place, pushing all that water back inland, which is also concerning. You can see here a coastal flood warning for Livingston Parish and everything that surrounds Lake Maripaw because all that water is getting pushed against all that water trying to get out of the Amy River. So what's going to happen is, again, the potential that that water could start to go outward versus downstream, which is going to be a big issue as we move into the overnight hours and throughout the day tomorrow. So again, if you live near a river, have a game plan and be ready to act. Here's your seven day forecast flood risk tonight, tomorrow. Stay vigilant Saturday, Sunday. We're talking some sunshine and we should be nice and dry for much of next week. 